The feud between the president and the media reaches a feverish pitch today. Trump calls their efforts a witch hunt to take down his presidency. Again, turning to his favorite social media site to express his frustration. Correspondent Mark Irons has more in the ongoing battle from the White House. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. Today, the commander in chief's agenda began, as it often does, with a tweet. His relentless Twitter storm continues to focus on his criticism of the mainstream media. Early this morning, President Trump blasts the New York Times for producing what he calls fake news. The failing New York Times writes false story after false story about me. They don't even call to verify the facts of a story, a fake news joke. A close second, according to the president, the Washington Post. The White House reiterating in today's off-camera briefing the bias it sees in coverage of the Trump presidency in mainstream media. The president speaking directly to the American people is always a good thing, whether it's uh, through social media platforms, whether it's through speeches, whether it's through interviews, that's always a positive, and I think most people agree. A retracted CNN story in the resignation of three high-ranking CNN journalists this week is a boon for a president at war with the media. On Twitter, the president says, so they caught fake news CNN cold, but what about NBC, CBS, and ABC? What about the failing New York Times and Washington Post? They are all fake news. Sparks may be flying between the president and the big networks, but for smaller media outlets, including our own, the relationship has never been better. I'm going to Dave Price of WHO in Iowa. Under the Trump administration, the White House press briefings include questions from local media, and our anchor has been invited to lunch with the president alongside the major networks on two different occasions. This week, the White House seems to be focused on explaining why the president is so upset. I think it's the constant barrage of fake news directed at this president probably that uh, has garnered a lot of his frustration. Tonight, President Trump will have an evening away from media scrutiny. He makes remarks at his first 2020 campaign fundraiser held at his own hotel down the street from the White House. The closed press event is raising a few red flags, among them that as a constant candidate, the president risks alienating Americans who did not vote for him. Lauren? I am not ready to cover another election. I don't know about you, Mark. In other news, though, I understand it's been announced President Trump is going to visit with the French president next month. That's right. He'll be visiting the, the, the French president on Bastille Day, July 14th. Correspondent Mark Irons at the White House. Thank you, Mark.